Hello, welcome, Gabby. How are you today? Hello, Lucy, welcome. Hello, ladies, welcome. All right, hello friend, welcome. Hi. All right, hello guys, welcome to our class number 15. It's almost the last one. Tomorrow we are gonna have the last class together. So in the case, uh, let's continue. Let's move on and welcome to your class. So, right now we are going to have a warm up activity that it says we will start the class without listening. Just give me one second. Okay, so I have a uh, four conversation. Pay attention to each conversation. There is one question for each uh, conversation, I think. Okay. Conversation one. What did you do yesterday? Nothing much. I just stayed at home and cleaned the house. How boring. Yeah, it was. And you? What did you do? I drove to the mountains and went hiking. That sounds fun. It was. I had a great time. Conversation 2. Did you do anything this weekend? I did. I took the train to the city and met my friend. Oh, yeah? What did you do? We had lunch and did some shopping. Did you buy anything? No, I didn't. I just went window shopping. I'm trying to save money. Me too. Conversation 3 How was your day? Terrible. I was so busy. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. We were so busy at lunch. One person called in sick, so we were short-staffed. Oh, that's no good. How did you manage? The boss came in and helped us. Conversation 4 Did you talk to Bob? I did. He said he was sorry. What did he say? He said he didn't mean to get mad at you. Well, he did. He made me cry. I know, but he is really sorry about it. All right, so did you get the answers, guys? Or do you want, it, do you want me to play it again? Hello. Hello. 
Hello there. Yes, play it again. Okay. Conversation one. What did you do yesterday? Nothing much. I just stayed at home and cleaned the house. How boring. Yeah, it was. And you? What did you do? I drove to the mountains and went hiking. That sounds fun. It was. I had a great time. Conversation 2 Did you do anything this weekend? I did. I took the train to the city and met my friend. Oh yeah? What did you do? We had lunch and did some shopping. Did you buy anything? No, I didn't. I just went window shopping. I'm trying to save money. Me too. Conversation 3 How was your day? Terrible. I was so busy. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, we were so busy at lunch. One person called in sick, so we were short-staffed. Oh, that's no good. How did you manage? The boss came in. And helped us. Conversation 4 did you talk to Bob? I did. He said he was sorry. What did he say? He said he didn't mean to get mad at you. Well, he did. He made me cry. I know, but he is really sorry about it. All right. Okay, so what's the answer of the number one? Mm -hmm. Letter B. Letter B, okay. Number two? Letter B. Okay, and then number three? Who help them at work? Mm -hmm. Letter B. Letter B. And what did Bob say? <clears throat> what did Bob say? Letter A. A. Okay. So check the answer. Yes. All of them are correct. Okay, thank you so much for your participation with this. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. So, all right, give me one second. Give me one second, my computer is a little bit slower today. So just give me one minute. All right, here we are. Can you hear me, guys? Yes. Okay, thank you so much for responding. 
So in the case, we were discussing about the simple past. Hemos estado hablando acerca del simple past. Ahora le voy a explicar the simple past and how to make WH questions. So we already know the meaning of the double H question, right? Do you remember the meaning? ¿Se recuerdan qué significa cada uno de los WH questions? For example, who, what does it mean? Sorry? Yeah, King. Yeah, yes. In what? Quien. Quien. Okay. In when? Que. When? Cuando. Yes. Cuando. In where? Donde. Good. In why? Donde. Por qué. Por qué. Por qué. Yes. And how? Como. Yes. So we need at the beginning the WH question. Al inicio necesitamos el WH question. Luego necesitamos el auxiliary did. That is for making questions in the past. Y luego we need to have the pronouns. Cualquier pronombre o nombre. Y luego pues necesito un verbo en la base form. No lo voy a cambiar. Just in the base form and the question mark. Once again, we need to have the a WH question plus did plus the pronoun and plus the verb in the base form and the uh, question. All right. So, question so far about the structure? Preguntas acerca de la estructura? Questions. No, no code. Okay. Thank you so much for answer. All right, just give me one second. Okay, that was, uh, las anteriores eran in general the simple past, pero solamente pues this question con simple past. Uh, we can use any verb. Podemos usar cualquier verbo que no sea el verb be. What does verb be mean? ¿Qué significa el verbo to be? Pero está. Yes, ser o estar. So, in the case, eh, para todos los verbos que no sean el verb be, that means ser o estar, we will use the, the previous structure. A WH question did pronounce in the complement. But for the past simple be WH question, we need to use always at the beginning the question, the WH question, and then I need was or were, depending on eh, the pronoun. Dependiendo del pronoun, es que yo voy a necesitar en el caso la conjugación ya sea was or were. As you can see here, with I, I use was. For where, we use uh, you. So he, she, and it, we use was. And you, we, and they, we need to use a word in the question mark. So, who was um, your partner, for example, last, who was your teacher last year? Um, when were you born? Donde naciste? And so, it's just for making questions about past. Question so far about this structure, guys, about the structure of simple uh, past. Be with the doglish questions. Yeah. 
Yes, I have a question. The verb is the, the finally with ENG. No, because that is continue. No se confundan con el tiempo progresivo que es el de ING. Eso es eh, el presente continuo o en el caso si lo queremos hacer el pasado progresivo. En estos momentos solo estamos estudiando el simple past, el pasado simple. Acciones que usted hizo en el pasado y se quedaron en el pasado. No sé si me explico. No. no. Let me check no. some examples. Vamos a ver si encontramos algunos ejemplos. No, no. No. You are confused. Just give me one. Give me one second. Structure. Just give me one second. Maybe my, my internet is a little bit slower. I will try to fix it. Just give me one second, please. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, give me one second. Can you hear me, guys? Hello, can you hear me, guys? Yes, coach. Okay, good. So, uh, who was uh, the person who was asking me was Frank or oh, Brian? I don't. I didn't pay attention to the name. Quién me estaba preguntando? Perdón. Nico. Okay. En el caso, no quiero que se confundan, porque ese es, una, ese es nada más el simple past. Les decía yo al inicio, at the beginning, que en inglés tenemos tres tiempos. We have past, present, and future. Los tres. Pero cada uno de esos tiempos tienen cuatro tiempos y tienen la forma progresiva que es con el ING. Entonces, en ese caso... Nosotros hemos visto en el simple present, hemos visto, en el presente hemos visto el simple present, la forma simple. Do you remember when do we use the simple present? ¿Se recuerdan cuándo es que ocupamos el simple present? No, you don't remember? No. Cuando estamos going to. No, usamos el simple present para hablar acerca de rutinas, acerca de cosas en el caso que hacemos diariamente. ¿Me entienden? No es algo que estamos haciendo en el momento. Por ejemplo, I work every day. Yo trabajo todos los días. So, yo trabajo todos los días y esa routine. Pero eso es en el simple present. 
Con el present continue, tenemos la otra forma siempre en el presente que es el present continue con el ing. Por ejemplo, I'm working right now. ¿Qué significa que yo ahorita estoy trabajando? I am working. En ese caso, utilizo el verb be, que sería am. Y en I add the ing to my verb. Le agrego en ese caso el ing. Entonces, quedamos claros que en el simple present ya vimos el simple, eh, perdón, en el present ya vimos el simple que es eh, I cook, I study, I play video games, I listen to music, she likes salad, eh, he likes play soccer. Esos ejemplos son en una forma simple en el presente. Y con el ING es el tiempo progresivo. That means actions that are being performed right now. Acciones que son hechas en este momento. Vimos también el future. El future que ocupamos el will. ¿Cuándo usamos will y cuándo usamos going to? Do you remember that? Yes. Ok. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre will and going to? Will is basically uh, probabilities. Probabilities, yes. And going to is 100% uh, sure, that you are 100% sure. Ok, entonces hemos visto. ¿Qué hemos visto durante este mes? El simple present, that are routines. Hemos visto el continuous, siempre en el tiempo presente. Y hemos visto el future, con will y con going to. But now we are learning about the past. Estamos hablando del pasado, pero solamente el simple past. El pasado simple, que son acciones que se hacen en el pasado y se quedaron en el pasado. So, como les decía anteriormente, ¿qué necesitamos en el caso? Was and were. Es la conjugación nada más de simple task con el verb be. Por ejemplo, eh, ¿se recuerdan que vimos los verbs? Eh, I ate pupusas. Yo comí pupusas yesterday. I ate pupusas yesterday. She worked. Worked. She worked yesterday. Ella trabajó ayer. He played football yesterday. Él jugó fútbol ayer. ¿Y cuando ocupo el verb be? Was and were. Cuando yo digo, I was sad. Yo estaba triste ayer. Uh, you were at home yesterday. Tú estabas en casa ayer. So, but those actions are actions made in the past. Y que se quedaron en el pasado. Ahora bien. Estamos aprendiendo a hacer oraciones, sentences, with the WH questions, que ya sabemos también what those, uh, what they mean. Y el was en el were solamente se van a utilizar para preguntas donde usted quiere saber quién estaba o con quién usted estaba o cómo usted se sentía. Solamente esto es for emotions. Por ejemplo, yo digo who was. Um, who was the boy with you? ¿Quién era la persona contigo? Que estaba contigo. So, when is your birthday? No, I'm sorry. When was the party, por ejemplo? ¿Cuándo fue la fiesta? When was the party? So, I don't know if it, if it is clear or are you still confused? It's clear. All right, so also tomorrow we are going to make a complete or entire review about the topics that we cover to uh, try to in the case para que tratemos en el caso de no tener dudas o no quiero que ustedes se vayan a ir del mucho o con dudas because my purpose here is that you can learn, okay? And now, les voy a enseñar una frase que es used to be. Used to be, that means solía ser o solía estar. 
That's the meaning, used to be. And I have here a draw. I used to be a handsome prince. What does it mean? ¿Qué significa? I used to be a handsome prince. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué significa esta frase? I used to be a handsome prince. Yo quería ser un príncipe guapo. Perdón. I'm sorry, you said quería o solía. Quería. No, in this case it's solía. I used to. Eso significa la frase used to. I used to be a handsome prince. Yo solía ser un príncipe guapo. So, in the case, y tenemos el otro, y le responde la gallinita, and I used to be an egg. Y yo solía ser un... What is an egg? Well. No worries, Gabby. No worries about the internet. I have the same problem. I don't know what happened to my internet right now, but it's a little bit slowly. So, and I apologize about that. All right. It says, I used to be a handsome prince. Ah, oh, and I used to be an egg. Y yo solía ser un huevo, es de gallinita. Okay. Entonces, en el caso... Used to be es para que usted hable sobre acciones que usted hizo en el pasado, pero ya no hace anymore. Okay, it says the expression used to be. We use the expression used to be in the simple past tenses to talk about past habits or past states. That means cosas que usted Hacía, pero ya no hace. Por ejemplo, si usted hacía ejercicio, I used to do workout. Solía entrenar. I used to do workout, pero es algo que usted hacía y ya no lo hace más. Or when I was a child, I used to play marbles. Él solía jugar con canicas. Solía, I used to. But you don't do this anymore. Pero usted ya no hace esto ya. Entonces, la frase used to nos ayuda a hacer reference about situations that you did in the past. Questions at this point? Preguntas a ese momento? Questions? Dudas? No. No, coach. Okay, thank you so much for answering. Because cuando no me contestan, siento que estoy hablando yo sola. All right. Let's move on. Okay, again, used to mean solía. It says, pass Add habits or repeated actions. Okay, it says, when I was a teenager, I used to go dancing every weekend. Cuando yo era un adolescente, o en el caso, los teenagers son entre los 10 a los, ¿qué? 18 años. I used to go dancing every weekend. All right, every Sunday, after lunch, we used to play in the street. Cada domingo después del almuerzo, nosotros solíamos jugar en la calle. So, it says past states, no longer true. Eh, cosas que usted hizo en el pasado, pero ya no más. I used to be blonde when I was a child. Solía ser rubio cuando era un niño. So, that happened to you guys? Algunos de ustedes used to be blonde cuando eran bebés, rubios. Algunos de ustedes era rubio y ya no más. No, anybody. Eh, no. Yes. 
Ah, okay. So, and what happened to the beautiful blonde hair? ¿Qué pasó con el cabello rubio? My, my mother... Uh, my mother cut my hair... My hair... Uh, when I was... Five years... Oh, in my yeah. child, childhood... Uh, and I lost my... My my gold gold hair. Your blonde hair. Okay. Oh, that's sad. So that happens with the curly. That happened. You have your hair cut. In the case, uh, it changed. The style change. A veces les cambia. The curly pasa a ser straight. Liso. So, a wavy, que es como ondulado. All right, so that's sad. Okay, let's continue. Okay, yes. After used to, the verb goes in a base form. Después del used to, siempre va a usar el verbo en la base form. It says, for negative or interrogative statements, the expression change to use to. Cuando hacemos preguntas o lo hacemos eh, negativo, no lo vamos a poner como use to, sino que solo use to. Si se fijan, ya no lleva la de acá. ¿Por qué creen que ya no lleva la de? A ver. Why? ¿Por qué creen que ya no está en pasado? Sorry. Por el did. El exactly. verbo use. Es su forma base. Ah, who is talking? I'm sorry. Tengo, tengo congelada la pantalla. No puedo ver exactamente quién me habla. Who is talking? <laughs> Frank. Ah, oh, thank you so much, Frank, and congratulations, the auxiliary verb. Es el auxiliar en este caso. Entonces, pay attention. In positive, en positivo, nosotros decimos, he used to play football. Él solía jugar fútbol. Tenemos used in past. That's a regular verb. In negative, usamos didn't. He didn't use to play football. In question, did he use to play football? And we have the answer. Yes, he did. And no, he didn't. So basically, it's the same like at the regular sentence, como una oración regular de las que estuvimos viendo anteriormente. Pero en este caso, este used to es como una frase. De solía, yo solía. Uh, I don't know if you have questions so far. ¿Alguna pregunta hasta el momento? No, go. Ok, good. Let's move on. Examples. Tenemos ejemplos acá. It says... When I was a kid, cuando yo era un niño, I used to play high and seek. Do you understand the meaning of high and seek? It's this one. Escondelero. Yes, escondelero. So when I was a kid, I used to play hide and seek. Okay. My mom used to be a teacher. Mi mamá solía ser una maestra. My mom used to be a teacher. So five years ago, I used to smoke cigarettes. Cinco años atrás solía fumar cigarro. Next one, my best friend, best friend used to go to the gym with me. Mi mejor amiga o amigo solía ir al gimnasio conmigo. 
So it says, when I was a kid, my family called me Lilo, like a nickname. So do you have any special name that your family gave you? ¿Tienen ustedes algún nombre especial con el que su familia los conoce o les habla? No. Yeah. My family called me gato. Gato? <laughs> All right. Yes. <laughs> because of your eyes? No. Uh, for my name, Gabriela. Ah, oh. <laughs> so in my case... Pero cuando era pequeña, aruñaba mucho a mis hermanos. Ah, for the reason is gato. So, my daughter loves cats. Mi hija ama los gatos. Mi hermana... Oh, con... me too. Oh. I have three cats. Yes. Oh, my God. She is asking for a cat. So, I made a promise. If she... Um, I told her, if you get a good grades during the whole scholar year at the end of the year maybe on November or on December I will ask to the mayor to the alcaldía if they have some cats in order to adopt one. Le he prometido que le voy a adoptar uno si durante todo el año escolar ella sacaba unas notas and she loves cats Créanme que lleva el primer lugar, así que en el caso voy a tener que conseguir el gato. <laughs> yes, voy a tener que hacerlo because I made a promise. And my sister, for that reason, she called her gata. ¿Dónde está mi gata? Le dicen. Y ella sí ama demasiado los gatos. If she is walking on the street and she is a, a cat, she is stop there and she's decided to talk to the cat to be oh mommy when a cat it's really cute i like it and and she wants uh, to have 30 cats when she's um when she uh when she's gonna como es que me dijo un dia ah mom when i finish my career I want to be a pediatrician and I want to have 30 cats. Ella dice que quiere tener 30 gatos porque va a ser la señora de los gatos. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's cute. So thank you so much for sharing, Gabby. So and who else? Alguien más que tenga un special name or something special? Yes. Okay. I, I have a nickname. Uh, for example, I gato, gato, too? chile, chile, yes, gato. Because uh, do you have a green eyes oh. or gray gray eyes? No, my my green eyes. Oh, do you have a green eyes? Oh, good. Yes, I, and I can stand the cat. For me, uh, <laughs> and, the, and the nickname is for my eyes. Oh, and also tell it because maybe you you have uh, 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 white skin. Yes, the other nickname with I use with my sister mm -hmm. is Maitro or Maitro. My, uh -huh. Yes. Okay. So, uh, and with my friends, I call them uh, Chabela, Chepa, and, and names a part of their real name, <laughs> but <laughs> or my comadre, or all of that. But good. So, those are some examples or the context how to use and use to. So, let's move on. So it says, and now it's your turn 
send a sentence using the expression used to in the Zoom chat. Share one thing that you used to do when you were a child. For example, podemos poner, when I was a child, I'm writing in the chat, give me one second. When I was a child, I used to, y completamos la oración. When I was a child, used to, in my case, I used to play with dolls. Solía jugar con muñecas, por ejemplo. I play with dolls. Play with dolls. Okay. And what about you? Write just one example. One thing that you just to do when you were a kid. Let me All right, let me check. Seven years ago, I used to be practice MMA with my friend. I used to, in the case, it's just I used to practice without B. And fair, in el, in el example, Que me puso fair seven years ago. I used to practice, solo practice MMA with my friend. And what does MMA mean? Artes marciales mixtas. Oh my goodness, that's interesting. Good. So I used to go to the gym with my friends. And right now, no, Brian. You gave you gave up. Se rindió. No more gym. O sus amigos se rindieron. All right. Veamos, Lizette. When I was a child, I used to cook. Solamente sería cook. Sin el verbo en pasado, porque el used to me hace la acción del pasado. Entonces sería, when I was a child, I used to cook. All right, let me continue checking. When I was a child, I used to cry. <laughs> oh my goodness, Gaby. I used to cry for everything, okay. Okay, everything in the case is with Y, con Y, that's the only thing. Okay, when I was a child in my neighborhood, I used to play soccer with my friends. Oh, in the case, that's a really good memory, right? I don't know, but we didn't realize when that stage uh, passed. No sé en qué momento esas etapas pasaron, pero como que no nos dimos cuenta. Cuando sentimos ya éramos adultos. And we have to work, we have responsibilities. Mm -hmm. And that's sad. Thinking about that mm -hmm. is sad. <laughs> yeah, it's very sad. Yes, because I think that we have the best childhood. Creo que tuvimos la mejor infancia because of the TV shows, because of the... Ah, we didn't have uh, smartphones. We had to use books, play with dolls, with marbles, with cars. 
And now and everything is about technology. So that's a different, it's a different time. Mm, now there is no violence at all. No tenemos mucha violencia. That could be an advantage. But the disadvantage is that everything is based on the technology. And before it was really hard. It was dangerous our country. But we had the opportunity to grow up with um, playing with toys, with a kite. And do you know the meaning of kite? The one that we use on October when there is a blow that you have in a tombola. So do you know what a kite means? ¿Me entienden la referencia? No. Ok. No les voy a decir tanto para que adivinen. In the case, it was a, like a toy that we used, we used on October, especially boys. You needed to have like a tombola. Ah, ok. <laughs> yes, la cometa o la piscucha, that's a kite. En inglés se le dice kite, se escribe kit, ya les, ya les digo con kite, así, kite. So, eh, yo nunca pude eso. <laughs> I am, admire the people that had the ability because I didn't have that. I didn't have the ability to volar cometas, but it was a really good times. So... Okay, let me see. Oh, Brian, Brian gave up to the gym. Ah, oh, that happened, right? That happened to me. At the beginning of this year, I was uh, attending to the gym, and right now, eh, I gain again my weight. So it says, when I went to school, they used to call me crazy before I had Oh my goodness, because you have a curly hair, they called you a crazy. Yes, coach. Oh my goodness, they were so rude. Because I think that childs are honest, are the honest person in this world. Si usted quiere saber si está gordo o gorda, pregúntele a un niño o dígale que lo dibuje y lo va a dibujar. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. When I went to school, it used to be nice. Nice then in what sense? Nice and good person or or you you were the ¿Cómo se le llama esta persona que que es popular? Lucy, you were popular? Okay. This is Sandra. When I was a child, I used to ride a bike. My dad. Your dad bike. Era la bicicleta de su papá? Hello? Let me check. Ah, okay. In that case, is when I was a child, I used to ride my dad's bike. Esos son como eh, possessives. Sería my dad, my dad's bike. I see my dad's bike. Oh, but good, guys. We made some... Eh, reminders here. Hicimos algunos recordatorios de nuestra niñez. It was really good. So let's move on. Let me check it. All right, I have a quality check here. What is the meaning of used to in Spanish, guys? ¿Qué significa used to? Solía. Solía. 
Exactly. So, Leah, what is the type of verb we need to use with the expression? ¿Qué verbo usamos para la expresión? Tengo yes. used to. Y después, ¿lo ocupo el verbo en la base form o en past form? Base form. Base form. Base form. Yes. What changes with negative and interrogative statement? ¿Qué es lo que cambia? Y negative and interrogative. ¿Qué es lo que me va a cambiar? The verb. The verb and what else? The auxiliary. The auxiliary, yes, the auxiliary. All right, yes, the auxiliary. So let's continue. Okay, we must set a short quiz here. So I have a short quiz que les voy a compartir with the use to. Los que tengan acceso a hacerlo, do it. Si no tienen acceso porque van a tener que se les trabe que el teléfono, la computadora, don't work. Acá les voy a pegar el link en el chat para que lo podamos hacer. Click on the link to start the quiz. All right, I have Gary, Brian, and Fair, and Iris, Gerardo, Celeste, I have six. Okay, I will play the star board right now. Go ahead.
I think that it's almost finished. En el caso mañana vamos a revisar el quiz eh, porque ya es hora de irnos. Y vamos a continuar la otra parte que me falta de la presentación para terminar pues el día de mañana. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta, dudas. No, Conf. Eh, para mañana tenemos para lo de la plataforma que completar al 100%, pero ¿hasta qué horas? Eh, tendrían que completarlo durante el día. También ahí dice que tenemos que hacer un examen de la unidad de la 1 a la 5. Mañana nos vamos a tomar el tiempo. Si usted tiene una duda, no sabe cómo pasar algún, algo, eh, yo voy a estar para ayudarles para que tengamos ya completada la plataforma durante el día. Eh, si no mal recuerdo, permítame, voy a leer lo que envió la coordinadora porque ella puso qué día iba a revisar. Eso le corresponde a ella, dice. Ah, el viernes, dice. El viernes 29, ella va a revisar a las 8 de la mañana. El viernes 29 ya tiene que estar completo. Ok. Ok. So, guys, please uh, take a rest. And we will uh, see you on tomorrow, ok? El, la lista ya le tomé captura a los que están conectados en No Works. Uh, see you later. Okay, see you later. Bye, my friends. Take care.